This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you guys the charging curve of the Mercedes EQA 250 Plus. It has the bigger battery, so is it charging faster? Nine, it is charging slower. Okay, let's see. So you see that uh, we compared to the old uh, EQS 250, but then uh, that was um, before the charging speed nerf. So it was charging faster. So even today, well, if you would grab one today, or I think even a while ago, it was charging slower, even the EQ 250. And then also include the Brabus 66 kilowatt hour, and then also e-tron, because I think they are similar prices EQA, which is kind of expensive. And you see that we only hit around 100 kilowatt on the EQA 250 plus now versus the all which hit around 112 kilowatt but then in comparison Brabus hit 150 kilowatt way faster than the e-tron look at the e-tron how much faster it charges man i mean for the same bang no wait for the same bucks you get more bang right with the e-tron versus eqa uh, all right but maybe the eqa has a nice and flat curve okay that's why we have this test we want to see how fast it charges what huh? what Brabus is leading what? Okay, well, it has a smaller battery, but wow, okay, that's very impressive with Brabus, man. And the Brabus, in, in a way, it is, okay, that's smart, by the way, smart, hashtag one. It is kind of like uh, Mercedes, you know, in, in the hashtag one, so maybe you don't have to buy the EQA, you can just get Brabus instead. Well, okay, or maybe, well, see, we'll see. Right now, the Brabus is actually leading, and then the e-tron is on a good second, and then, wow, EQA. They are so slow because they charge so slow. Cars coming out in 2024 charge at only 100 kilowatt peak. But who cares about the peak power? Just like Fat Etron, it's the flat charging curve that matters. So we're gonna race now to 90% and see who is the real boss here. Because now you see the Brabus start slowing down. It's so oh, it's at 72%, and then Etron also starts slowing down. But remember that they're at 60%. The EQAs they haven't even hit 60% yet. <laughs> but we can see how flat it goes then compared to the other so yeah so th that's this is usually how it goes that if you want to have some nice uh, high speed in the beginning you usually have to go slower towards the end otherwise you will fry the battery or you just i don't know you abuse the battery so let's see at least the eqa 250 plus has a nice and flat curve but already now at 54 percent it starts throttling a little bit e and the, 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 the i don't know eqa 250 on the other hand uh, uh, actually, okay, also throttles, but uh, we have to look at the charging curve afterwards to see how they throttle. But now we see that Brabus is still in the lead and Etron is right behind. They are neck and neck really, but the Etron is charging faster than Brabus right now. <gasps> uh oh, might see like a, a little uh, German victory here. We'll see. But then, uh, man, the two top cars, they are kind of slow. Oh, yeah, you see this? Exactly what you see? This is the old charging curve of the, the 250. It's now nice and flat. So actually the EQA 250 is about to uh, beat, uh, or, I mean, it was passed by Brabus even. And then Etron is still hanging in there, man. This, this is still quite even. Uh, if Etron versus Brabus because Etron has a bigger battery. So, and then how is going on with the EQA 250 Plus? Then it is so far behind all the other cars. So even some nice flat charging curve cannot save it right now. It seems like all the other cars they are at over 80 percent, and then the EQA 250 Plus is only at 72 percent. But then which car is gonna win? Wow! Right now the EQA, well the old the old curve uh, seems to have an uh, okay chance to win. It is already at 85 percent. This is exactly what I was saying that uh, yeah, the old curve the 250 previously didn't charge that fast, but it's going to 90 percent that matters, right? And there you see the old curve shines, it can actually hit 90 percent. Wait, come on, come on, come on, there first before the other cars, huh? How about that? Look how slow the e-tron and the Brabus is charging right now, only a 30 kilowatt. Uh, EQA can take 55 kilowatt, nice and flat. Wait, but do we have a chance with the 250 plus though? Ah, uh, no, it doesn't seem like it. Because the e-tron and Brabus is really close to 90%, whereas the 250 plus is only at 82%. Yeah, yeah. So now, even though uh, the other cars are charging slower, the cars at the bottom, it's still not uh, gonna matter because they will hit 90. There, they hit 90%. Both of them at the bottom, and then the, the 250 plus is so slow compared to the other. I can actually now we can see that. Uh, on the previous session, or I mean the previous uh, charting curve, the 250 hit almost 100%. Well, actually, wait, will it actually hit 100% previously? By the time the 250 plus hits 90%, wow, the total humiliation. Oh, it's gonna happen now. <sighs> wait a minute. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, it, yeah, the previous session, oh, the previous curve hit 100%, and there. 
250 plus, it hit 90%. Wow, that is so slow. And in comparison, the e-tron now is at 94%. Wait, well, did we even go for 100%? Oh, I think I did. Ah, wait a minute. And here we have the comeback. Okay. So, um, will uh, the 250 plus beat the e-tron now? Because the 250 plus, not only does it charge faster in kilowatt, but also it has a smaller battery. So now it has a pretty good chance of winning. It's actually gaining quite fast on the e-tron right now. I, I didn't go to 100% on the Brabus. Uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe because it took too long. Yeah, it was only at 25 kilowatt. But let's see now. It's at 100%. That's like the bonus points. Can it at least get one point then? It lost all the other uh, tests now. But oh, ho, ho, look at that. The EQA is in the lead now. Uh, just barely ahead of the e-tron. So, and it's charging faster in kilowatts. So this is it. The EQA 250 plus will at least get one. Uh, uh, they call it Triste Premier. <laughs> there, 100% before the e-tron. Well, okay. At least it's not totally useless then. And then here you see, uh, was it? yeah, you see how fast the Q4 e-tron is charging. So this is what matters. During 1000 km challenge, I would pump it up to around 60% maybe, and then hammer it to the next charger. And then well, this is the Brabus one. Brabus is also fairly fast, 150 kilowatt. Huh? And then, e um, oh, okay, the old curve was also way above the new curve. Okay, uh, so the red curve here is the EQA 250 plus. Hmm. It is the slowest of them all, kind of, but okay, it has that flatness. This is a weird dip also, that's weird. But um, yeah, so, um, well, I I'm not sure what else to say. It, it is not charging very fast, but maybe it has the best battery degradation. Yeah, okay. Who knows? But anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.